There's a chef saying that you eat with your eyes first. That's entirely true on Instagram. And it's driving chefs to focus on the visuals, like rainbow bagels, plates covered in gooey fancy cheese, and massive ice cream sundaes. The worldwide master of this game is a guy in Tel Aviv who calls himself the professor. The professor's gimmick is overpriced burgers with a slightly sweet barbecue sauce and thick home fries, which he cooks in a secret location that's changed three times. His kitchen is behind the bar of a horse club. Dogs wander inside. The bar floor is covered in bird poop. There was a dead baby bird on the ground. I took a pic of it. This location is the third location mm -hmm. <laughs> in Why? four months. I didn't want somebody to know where we are cooking. We just move on because people wanted to, to find us. The only way you can get the burgers is through a secret WhatsApp number that initially spread through word of mouth. The wait list is more than two months and 3,000 people long. So this is how it works. Okay. We are going to the last, last, last guide. These are your unread messages. Yeah, this is how it looks like. Mm -hmm. And why are you going back to the beginning? Is those, are those the orders you're filling tonight? Yeah, they didn't get the burger. They asked for it, you can see. Mm -hmm. They just got the automatic uh, message, but we still didn't get back for them. So they're going to get a surprise tonight yeah. that says, your burger's ready. Yes. This is the time for them. It's tonight. Mm -hmm. And then we will see if, uh, what is going on with them, you know. The professor worked as a chef for about 20 years. But he says he's quit in protest of Israeli restaurant regulations, which cut into his profit margins. Then all the municipality and they are killing restaurants owners. So food prices are high and labor costs are high? Yeah, yeah. Give me a specific rule that really pissed you off. Everything. It's uh, by, uh, okay, let's put uh, something on the, on the front of the restaurant, okay? They're charging more than four, five, six thousand nis a year for nothing. Just to put a sign like my name of the, the, the restaurant name. Very difficult to earn money in restaurant in Israel. But the secret burger line might not be all about protesting the government. Being a master of hype is good money. It costs about $53 for two burgers plus fries and delivery fees. Only 200 are made a night, and part of the appeal is how it's delivered, Jabberwocky style, by mystery men in masks. They bring black gloves supposedly to prevent fingerprints, but really because the burgers are messy. It has a feeling of being a little bit illicit, right? What do people like about that? And they are like in a movie. Mm -hmm. They are a part of something that's going on, but it's underground. Nobody sees it. You text with me, with the professor. Is it illegal? No, it's legal. <laughs> We're paying tax, everything, of course. Just has a little bit of the feel of like a drug deal. Um, maybe you say so. I think that everybody, any person, has a criminal side. His mind and his body. It's a burger, yeah? But let's make them uh, feel like in an action movie and let's do something mystery together. Why would you want to call this number? I think it's the very tasty and I think it's uh, the good idea to make it for only for friends. Mm -hmm. I think it's make it and it's expensive, so we need to taste it. Somebody there. Someone has a choice. Yes. Yes. Oh my God! Oi! You, you. You. Let's do it. Yo, imale. Word of the professor's success is spreading. He claims other restaurants have called him, asking for help making their own WhatsApp line. 
Like right now, people from restaurant calling me and tell me, let's do the method, yeah? Really? Yeah. Wait, what are they saying? They asked me to build them the method for the delivery. No, like Italian food, okay? Uh-huh. Like a secret spaghetti line? Yeah, I'm building them all the... all the user experience. Do you think you'll lose customers if people stop start copying you? Uh, no. I think that everybody has a place and I wish them to move from what they are doing right now and to do something different. Why? Because they will smile again.